Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are reviewing The Measure by Nikki Ehrlich. Uh, finished this a couple of weeks ago and wanted to talk about it. I've not seen it talked about very much, which is a surprise to me because the concept is so interesting. So the basic premise of the book is that on a day in history, every adult in the world receives a box with their name on it and inside is a string. And in that box somewhere, there's some sort of plaque or something that makes the statement about this being the measure of your life. And what begins to happen is people begin to realize that the string represents your lifespan and it throws the world into chaos. Uh, this was a really interesting book. It basically follows uh, a core group of about six to eight people. There are lots of, you know, lots of extra characters and there's a lot of overlapping of relationships, but follows these six to eight people as they are there, as the world changes, as more is learned about the strings and how the culture and the government and employment and everything changes, relationships, the economy, everything is thrown into disarray because of these strings. Now, I am not typically a dystopian book type of guy. I don't tend to like reading stuff like that. Um, not that I'm against it, it just never is that enjoyable to me. I especially am not loving lately how many books are set in the pandemic. I realized it was a real thing. It was a big deal. I'm just not ever interested in reading uh, something that's actually truly horrible uh, that is reminiscent of what we've actually experienced in our lives. But I had that sense as I was reading The Measure that this may be one of the best books about the pandemic that's not about the pandemic. But it did such a good job of looking at the very real world implications of what happens if everyone knows the day they're going to die and what decisions get made, uh, what sort of relationships survive, which ones don't make it. It's a very, very interesting concept. I really enjoyed the book. As you can imagine, a book like that, you're immediately thinking, well, what would I do? How would I react? What would I do if I knew that my string was was short? How would I live the rest of my life? I did not love the ending of the book. I think I went in with unrealistic expectations. It's really kind of my own fault because for a, for a book that's focusing on people at a very real world level, um, I think I had an expectation of some sort of narrative zooming out towards the end or something that I was going to get maybe a little extra perspective or maybe some answers about some things specifically that weren't there. That's on me. Um, that, that was foolish of me to expect the book to really change flavor at the very, very end. So this book was recommended to me by my friend Angela. She was like, have you heard about the measure? And I said, no. And she told me about it. She said, as soon as I heard about it, I figured Todd would probably want to read that. And I did. Um, but I enjoyed the reading process. It was a little longer than what I'm used to, but I'm really glad I did. And I mean, I'm I, you know looking at the artwork and stuff. It looks like it it got some critical praise. It got some awards, but I haven't heard a lot of people talking about it and haven't uh, really found that it really got much of a pop. And maybe I'm just not looking on the right websites, but uh, it feels like a, a book that we should be talking about. And so if you've read it, let me know because I have... I have questions about it. So yeah, uh, can't remember what I gave it on Goodreads. I'm going to guess a three or a four. I'd have to go back and look. Uh, I guess if I put it here on the video, you'll know I remembered what I gave it. So The Measure by Nikki Ehrlich. Uh, let me know if you've read it. 